Hi, in this video I will play through my game and explain about it. First we start at a portal machine. When we go out we will call out with a um, text box which guides us what to do. So it tells us to reactivate this portal. And when we go down here we will see a glow sideboard that point to the button with the trigger that opens the door so this is the critical part it's the nearer with the door trigger so normally player will go this path but now I will go to the optional part as you can see when I go out I will start here the wind sounds and the wind sounds stop when I go inside again we hit the collision box and the guy appear again to tell us this way is blocked by some rocks If the player choose the optional path, they will find a new weapon As soon as I pick up the weapon, the light around it will disappear The light helps player easier to locate the weapon The guy box appears again to tell us we cannot go this way So we have to find another way I made a dash key for our character to avoid the enemy's attacks It can be active by pressing the left stick button as you can see when I go inside the sound is disappear and when I go outside the sound the wind sound is appear again. At this room which is the reactor room, I use some pawn lights and uh, rectangle lights to light it up. There is some computer trigger here. The guy box also show us this is the reactor room. So now we encounter with our first enemy with his teeth, they can blow up when they hit us. Let's test our new shotgun. It still 5 damage per bullet. Our first gun only do 2 damage. Okay, let's check out what it is. We have 3 batteries trigger here. They have 3 different colors. Green, pink and yellow. But they are inactive at the moment, as the guy tell us. Let's check out this TNT trigger. When we active, it will trigger the rock blow near the particle system as well as the camera sex that I make and now when we go here we will encounter the gas trap it can be activated by a blow trigger because it's still the gas so it will ignore the ammo and impact directly on the character health and here is the cutscene that shows us all the door terminal that we need to activate it because the character hits the collision box before enter the room so it's play the cutscene in this room we can see some pile lights that connect to the computer trigger That is the hint to lead us to the next one You can see the glow sidebar again that points to the button When I press it, the button will change to the red color And the computer trigger will change to green And when I press the computer trigger, it changes the color to red And the green light around it lit up with me is activated The orange light so at this gate is locked and now a new melee enemy appear and the next one is the chef enemy which use them you can see the two computer at the corner is red color and then when I kill all the enemy the computer is changed to green I use the objective manager to make this happen but let's check out this one it said this is the battery so it can supply for the reactor but it's inactive as well at this door so we will come back to this door later and now I will active these two computer trigger it said the brick control so it will control the bridge ok this one rotate the bridge and this one will lower the bridge down so now the broken bridge is fixed this door has green light so it can be open so the wind is active again when I go out so now we can barely see the lava down here because of the dust it is black next it's too thick oh this way is broke so we have to go another way but let's try if I die so I will be returned to the portal machine there is the reason to uh, blow up the rock in this way because if you remember this way had to toxic the gas but now we fix the bridge so we can go this way and we can use this way to go back to the reactor room when we active on the battery the battery computer trigger also use the objective manager so we have to active all the battery to be able to start the reactor 
Now we see our first apple and the health become and a teleport gate here that lead us to another place which is the training ground Here I have the mover, it will trigger when player step on it The mover helps player to avoid damage from these landing blocks As you can see it reduce my ammo when I step on it And now we are facing the thief enemy again now we will have to solve a door puzzle It uses the combination of 3 different triggers Which add a normal trigger, active trigger and kill trigger So if we understand how each trigger works We can show this puzzle easily I pick it up a new gun And we have a TNT trigger again I use a red polarized to lift up the TNT barrels to indicate it can be explored the green light on the TNT trigger change the red light after I press it which means it is inactivated now you can see the turret that shot bouncing projectile so we have to fight the enemy while avoiding the bouncing projectile this increase the beat of the game to a higher level After I kill all the enemy and press the button, the turret will be destroyed and the door will open. I also use the objective manager here, so we have to kill all the enemy and press the button to be able to open the door. So when I press the button on the mover, it will start moving, deactivate the block lights and activate the turret. When I press the button at the corner, it will deactivate the turret and open the door. This button also a kill and active trigger, so it will close the door and open the next door. Now I go to the teleport gates again and travel to the next room. When I activate this trigger to open the gates, it will also active the Zion projector. As you can see, I have the uh, wind effect here, so it will slow down the character movement. It's just like a coffee pail feature that pushing the character back. And you can see some wind Niagara practical system here. So we need to use dodge skill to be able to get over this obstacle. As you can see, I got hit before and it's still 30 damage. So we have the trigger here, so when I press it, it will open the door and destroy the turret. Now we go inside the teleport here, and there is a teleport maze here. So we have to choose the correct guys to be able to proceed to the next area. Next one is the rotate spy trap. It's still 5 damage, but he's So now we have to choose a correct guys. If you choose wrong, it will bring you back to the first portal of the maze. So I chose a correct guys. So it teleports me to a new area that has floating spy trap. It also deals 5 damage please. Okay now we back to the bridge. And we can see the mover here. I activate the trigger so it's move. You can see a nice lava down here. The fence here had the collision box, so it will move down to make a way. We have a rotate spy trap again. Just get over it carefully. I use the dodge skill and trap into the fence, but it had the three second cooldown, so just wait for it to cool down and use the skill again. So we found a yellow battery right here. But it's also inactive, so I will come back later. And I just pick up a new gun, which is a laser gun that can do 10 damage per hit. So we see the lock gun in the observation room again. So I will remember this, so I can go back to the yellow battery later. Let's test out our new laser gun. I found the next door trigger here. It can be recognized by the glowing grid light texture. 
We have a cold deep bell here. So it affect us and the enemies as well. I found a new one here, which is a blast map pistol that can do 20 damage per hit. The objective manager is also used here, so we have to kill all the enemy and active the button. The door will open and deactivate the turret. We just get hit by the hidden trap. It also deal 5 damage per hit. Let's test our new plasma pistol. It deal very high damage, but kinda hard to use. We have to arm and adjust the time correctly because the projector only blow after 3 seconds. We can see the Scott multiplier increase each time we kill an enemy and reset after 3 seconds. So we have a new type of enemy here with a heavy enemy. It has the highest amount of health compared to the other enemy, except the boss. As you can see the hidden trap make the gameplay harder while you try to avoid the enemy bullets. It will appear suddenly and hit you. I found some supply here and the ammo for my big suit gun and we also found a next door trigger here and the green battery so I will remember this play to go back orange lights here active the button and it turn to green light and open the door so in this room with a, a seat bike we can see the floating spy trap again it is a challenge for the player to try to avoid the floating trap and the enemy projector. As you can see the beat and pacing of the game is increased gradually. We will encounter new and stronger enemy when we proceed. But here I also have some self room or room with our enemy to decrease the game intensity. As you can see the gameplay also changed. At the training ground, it's mainly focused on the puzzle and trap. And here in the space station, it's mainly focused on the combat. The flicker light makes this room look scary. I just picked up a new plasma rifle. That's the very high damage. Actually, the base damage of this gun only 4 damage. But the fire rate speed is very high, so basically it's still very high damage. The fading lights help me easily to recognize the weapon area. So we found our last door trigger here in the cutscene. The rocket launcher do 30 damage per hit, which is also the highest damage compared to the other weapons. As soon as I press the door trigger, the door behind we close and open the next door which prevent player to go back and we just check here the cutscene for the boss I also use the objective manager here so to be able to proceed we have to kill the boss and active the generator the boss has 1000 health it can sort laser that do 1 damage per hit and the flame that do 2 damage per second but it's not time per time so the damage is double. It starts chasing me if I go too far. I have some Diagora campfire here to lead up this area. So now I can active the generator to restore the power for the battery supplies. So you can follow the pilot to lead you back to the batteries. As you can see the boss door is chained to green lights so now we can open it. And now we are back to the observation room and you can see the battery trigger is lit up with the pink color. As soon as I active the trigger the battery start to floating and lit up so I know it's deactivated now let's go back to the reactor room 
to empty the battery computer. But there is the toxic gas on the way so I have to load the alternative way. This is the reason why we need to blow up the rock with the TNT at the beginning. So now I can see the pink battery computer chip here is lit up. I activate and we will find the other two batteries. The generator is active on the boss door. So now I can open this boss door. Same at the pink battery. We can show the green battery jigger is lit up with the green line. And when I activate it, the battery is start to flow and lit up. And now we will go to the final battery with the yellow one. Now this door can be opened. We see the shocker that leads you to the yellow batteries. Once it is activated, I can return to the reactor room. I have so many health, so I will go through the toxic gas to make it faster. Now we can see both green and yellow battery chip here is lit up. When I active all three battery computer chips, now I can active the reactor chip here. And the reactor light will change from orange to blue. And now I can active the portal machine. You can see the transition of the light in the other. And then the portal hole will appear. And now we can go inside it to finish the game. I use the timeline to control the portal hole movement. That is all of my gameplay walkthrough. Thank you for watching.